morning everyone so we have started with chapter light and in continuation of that today we will study about the topic sign convention for reflection by spherical mirrors as you all know that in the last few classes we have learned about the image formation by spherical mirrors but what if somebody will ask you for the exact measurement of the image formation for different object positions for that we will be needing mirror formula as well as magnification formula and to use these two formulas we must know the rules for the sign convention right and in order to understand this sign convention for reflection by spherical mirrors let's recall number line which you have already studied in your maths in your junior classes so let's start with your first topic today that is sign convention for reflection so let me draw number line for you this is your y axis this is your x axis so this one is your x axis and this one is your y axis this is said to be the origin now as we all know that on the right hand side all the numbers on the x axis are taken as positive on the left side they are taken as negative similarly for the y axis the numbers in the upward direction are taken as positive and in the downward are taken as negative right now you might be thinking what is the relation between number line and the sign convention rule so let's see so first this y axis i'll replace this y axis with the concave mirror so this is your concave mirror and i can place on the non reflecting side i can place the dashes to distinguish between the reflecting and the non reflecting side right and in between this as you all know that this is known as aperture and the center of the aperture is known as pole right and this pole is same as the origin in case of number line so as we all know that in case of number line all the distances are measured from the origin so here in this case all the distances are measured from the pole right now this principal axis this x axis is considered to be as the principal axis here right now these are the few basic things we must know now suppose another thing here is suppose i am placing the object here and as we know that all the distances are measured from the pole so this distance suppose i am saying this is the object so the distance between the pole and the object this distance is known as the object distance and which is represented by u right so this distance the distance between the pole and the object similarly suppose image is formed somewhere here so this is image and what is the image distance how we can measure the image distance that is the distance between the pole and the image so this distance between the image and the pole is known as image distance which is represented by v right so these are the few basic things so before moving on further let's write down these few things to avoid the confusion that the distance between the object and the pole of the mirror is called the object distance which is represented by u similarly the distance between the image and the pole of the mirror is called image distance which is represented by v and the principal axis of the mirror is taken as the x axis and the pole of mirror is taken as the origin right so the first rule says that the object should always be placed on the left side of the mirror right so this is the left side of the mirror that means the direction of incident ray which is coming from the object is always from left to right right so this is the direction of the incident ray now all the distances are measured from the pole right the distances which are measured on the right side of the pole are taken as positive so these are the positive distances and the distances which are measured to the left of the origin are taken as negative distances right so now you can compare here this with your number line that the numbers which are on the right side are taken as positive and the numbers on the left side are taken as negative so similarly here the distances which are measured from the pole 
towards the right side are taken as positive and which are taken as towards the negative side are taken as the negative right now a very important thing here is that this rule can also be defined as the distances which are measured in the direction of incident ray are taken as positive so what does it mean because since you can see that the object is placed on the left side right so the direction of as you can see that object is placed on the left side of the mirror right so that direction of incident ray is from left to right so the positive distances are measured in the direction of incident ray although the distances which are measured on the left side are opposite to the direction of incident ray right there is one more rule that the heights of the image or the object will be measured from the from the principal axis and perpendicular to the principal axis so somehow if i am saying the image is formed here then the upper side upward and the perpendicular direction to the principal axis are taken as a positive height and in the downward direction perpendicular to the principal axis are taken as negative right so so all these are the rules let's see what is the application of these rules so u is the object distance here so in both the cases the object should be placed on the left side and the distances on the left side are taken as negative so in both the cases u is always negative right so for the better understanding let me draw a diagram a small diagram for you suppose this is your concave mirror this is your principal axis pole and i am placing my object here as per the sign convention right now what about v that is your image distance in case of concave mirror we have done six diagrams and out of those six diagrams for in five diagrams we got real image right if the image formed is real then in that case the image form should be in front of the mirror that means to the left of the pole so in that case v is negative here right but what if the image formed is virtual so where the image will be formed in this case so in this case it is behind the mirror behind the mirror means right to the pole so right to the pole means positive all right what about convex mirror in case of convex mirror the image formed is always virtual so it is always positive right let's talk about h h is the height of the image right so it is always in the upward direction we are keeping it as per the uh, convention so it is positive similarly for here also convex mirror it is positive right now what about h dash which is your height of the image let it be let me write it for you height of image right now in the case if the image formed will be real then it will definitely be inverted as well and the inverted image so you can see here in the diagram inverted image this is your inverted image so inverted image means below the principal axis so it will be negative here right and if it is virtual then it will be erect also so in that case erect that means above the principal axis so it will be positive right in case of convex mirror we always get virtual and erect image so it is always positive right so the last is your principal focus so principal focus as you know in case of concave mirror it is in the front of the concave mirror so in front means negative that means on the left side and for convex mirror it is behind the mirror so it will be positive because it will be towards the right of the pole right so these are the rule i mean based on the sign convention rules so these are the signs for image distance object distance height and height of the image object and these signs will be using for solving the numericals right so let's study about the mirror formula 1 upon f is equal to 1 upon v plus 1 upon u and as we know that u is your object distance it is your object distance v is your image distance
and F as you all know it is your focal length. Right. So if we know about V, U, we can find out F and suppose we know about where the object is placed and we know the focal length of the uh, your spherical mirror. So in that case, we'll be able to find out the exact position of the image. So next we'll study about magnification formula. Magnification, it is represented by M. The formula for this is H dash upon H where H is your image height and h uh, sorry h dash is your image height and h is your object height so let me write it down for you that is image height and h is your object height right another formula for this is minus v upon u so what actually the magnification is? Magnification gives us the relative extent to which the image of the object is magnified with respect to the object size. So this is clear from the formula as well since it's a ratio of image height and the object height. So how much image size is magnified with respect to your object size? So this is your magnification and looking at both the formulas you can see that magnification is the ratio of two same similar quantities so it has no units right so what other information we can get from the magnification so suppose the magnitude for m is greater than one so what does it mean that means h dash upon h is greater than one right if it is greater than one it can be greater than one only in the case when the numerator is greater and which is image height so in this case we can say h dash is greater than h that means image is magnified so your image is magnified here next one suppose i m is less than one so this ratio h dash upon h is less than 1 and when it can happen when h that is in the denominator object height is greater than the numerator so in this case h dash is less than h so here your image is diminished in the last case here that m is equal to 1 that means h dash upon h is equal to 1 and this is the case when h dash and h are equal to each other that means image height and the object height are same and do you remember that out of the six cases for the image formation by concave mirror which one is this case when the image and the object height are same so this is when you are placing the object at c right now this is uh, this was all about the magnitude now this another set of information we can get from the magnification from its sign suppose m is your m is negative so in that case the nature of the image we can conclude that nature of the image here is real and inverted similarly if m is positive we can see the nature of the image is virtual and erect. Let's verify this all. Suppose take one of the two formulas. Let's take the first one that m is equal to h dash upon h. And we are considering that the nature of the image is real and inverted. So let's substitute the sign convention rules here. So h that is object height it is always positive. If it is real and inverted, image is your real and inverted. Inverted means below the principal axis, that means negative. So in totality, answer will be negative here. So if it is negative, image is real and inverted. Let's verify this for virtual and erect also. So in case of virtual and erect, object height, it is always positive. Erect image, that means above the principal axis, so it is positive. So this one is your positive answer, right?